Let's listen. Uh, to those who are hospitalized in the first place. And equally to ask him, pointedly, did he order the attack? Hmm. Or if he didn't order the attack, who ordered the attack? Was it to his knowledge that people were attacked? That's all I need. I need that from him. Going forward now, I mean, you've seen him, you've commensurated with him. I'm sure um, he must have um, given you uh, a mild picture, mental picture of the level of quantum destruction of public and private property and um, cases of casualty and fatality, if they were. Um, what's the next step going forward for you, for all well-meaning people of Lagos who would want to support? Because I heard the governor say something like, this is really going to be tough. In a year, we have had to reduce our budget. Now, first, we have to segregate the calendar. Those who suffered casualty before the protest, and of uh, SARS, you have to separate that from those who suffer casualty, you know, due to tea and the toll gate. For those who suffered from that, I think set up. they set up the commission of inquiry that is already set up. We all ask that and we make their recommendations. Trust with the kind of caliber and characters of the people there, they are independent. That is one. Those who are sober casualty during the gunshot need to answer some questions too. How are they there? How long were they there? What kind of characters are they? Even though we want to help, we see ext must extract information that we help the government to prepare in future or understand how and when to react. Because the government, the governor in particular, is a youth. This is not what we inherit, okay? They are youths themselves, they are himself. He quickly went to Abuja with a fight for five. The government immediately put into action, dissolved his hands, okay? And they uh, have to walk through other recommended action, the need they demanded. <coughs> Without, within few days, he reported back to the public. On television, he delivered the message to the president. The president didn't say no. The president gave him appointment within a few hours. That's responsive enough for people to go out. But where are we getting the looting, the carnage, the burning, the invasion of a police station, and the stealing of arms, and maiming the innocent? It's a, it's a handshake beyond the elbow. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll All take right, this message. Okay. Just last yeah. question, please. Sir, we were told that you were in London, you were in Paris. When did you return? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go nowhere. I'm in Lagosha. <laughs> eh? And uh, I see all the tattoo of Ashu Aju of Lagos. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm still a Jagaban. <laughs> uh, well, whatever they think, uh, fake news is all over the place. 
they, they, they say my, Shei, my son, was kidnapped. He was chased out of. You see, yeah, look at him. He's not in London. <laughs> it's him. I, I, I have to be sure that yeah, it's not photoshopped. <laughs> I didn't pay a penny <laughs> to bring him here. Uh, maybe governor will come will give him pocket money <laughs> for this. It, it is, it, 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 it is very much, all a joke. Thank, all you, right, very thank much. you very much. Sir. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. 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 London now, where hundreds of UK-based Nigerians have descended on the streets of the British capital, uh, calling for an end to police brutality in the homeland. They gathered in Parliament Square and went to Downing Street, where they tried to hand in a petition to the Prime Minister Boris Johnson. They later marched to uh, a house they said they believe belonged to Nigerian politicians. We're here because we need justice for the killing of uh, innocent souls innocent protesters that we're protesting at Lekki Gate, you know? So it's, it's not fair the way the, the government are treating the people. So we need justice. And we are here for bad government. We are here for justice for those that were killed. We are here the way the government are treating the nation. So stop and we are here for those people. Justice for the killing of Lekki. Let's cross live now to London, where Arise correspondent John Cookson is monitoring events there. Good to have you again, John. Uh, you're still on the streets, I can see. So what do you have for us? Hey, Neil, good to see you. Well, I'm actually outside the Nigerian High Commission at the moment. And it is, as you can see, quite quiet. There's just a small police presence here at the moment. Uh, uh, there are protesters around. And what tends to happen, Nihi, is that uh, protesters will come here for uh, uh, an hour or so and then they'll move off and go down to Downing Street which is what, about uh, uh, just over a half a kil kilometre from here and onto Parliament Square and, and in those locations they uh, conduct their protests there and then eventually they come back uh, here to the Nigerian High Commission. C Central London a little bit busy uh, today with uh, a, a number of protests underway at the moment but uh, outside the uh, Nigerian High Commission it, it's quiet uh, for the time being. These of course have been the latest in uh, almost two weeks now of protests about uh, uh, the violence in Nigeria. Uh, there are approximately uh, 200,000 Nigerians living in the UK and they've been here and at other uh, protest points uh, in, in the last uh, few days uh, expressing their sheer anger of, of what's been going on on, on the streets uh, there. Uh, today uh, what happened was, as you, you say, they, they first gathered at Parliament Square uh, where we uh, here on Arise uh, uh, did a, a lot of live interviews there with protesters before they moved on to Downing Street which is uh, a half a kilometre uh, or so from uh, Parliament Square. Now, uh, Nii, they wanted to hand in a, a petition uh, protesting at violence to uh, uh, Boris Johnson at number 10. Uh, the police declined. That's not unusual. Uh, uh, a number of demonstrators uh, uh, come to Downing Street and want to hand in a petition. Uh, there's nothing unusual for police refusing to accept it uh, on the day. What tends to happen is that it's uh, handed in at a later date uh, by a leader of the protesters and, and Downing Street does actually get to see it. After leaving Downing Street, uh, uh, we then m moved on, as you say, to outside uh, what was purportedly uh, the home of a former governor of, of Lagos there, and the idea of uh, demonstrators appearing there was to uh, show their anger uh, that uh, a number of senior Nigerian politicians and government officials uh, have in the past uh, made a fortune uh, and uh, sent money to London to buy mansions and uh, other property. Uh, one of the uh, claims of the protesters that uh, they, they want this kind of practice to end. have to say, of course, that uh, in the last uh, day or so, the uh, Nigerian government has uh, uh, given concessions to uh, the uh, protesters, uh, saying that the uh, uh, SARS uh, outfit will be disbanded and there will be other police reforms. 
Uh, and uh, protesters acknowledge that, but they say, you know, it just doesn't go far enough. And, Nihi, they don't actually believe uh, that these reforms will, will, will take place. Uh, so we'll have to see what comes down the line on that. Now, there's another protest here again in London tomorrow. It uh, starts at Marble Arch uh, uh, and Hyde Park at 2 p.m. Uh, when protesters will again Nihi, come back here to the uh, Nigerian High Commission here uh, in central London. Nihi. Uh, indeed, John. Now, um, just to go back to the story about the uh, Nigerian politicians' uh, house they picketed uh, earlier, was there any response from that house uh, while they protested? No, and, and the, the, it has to be said that the, 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 the protesters weren't quite sure that they got the right number and the right house. Uh, they had a, 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 a number of 88, but they weren't quite sure of the street. So we were in uh, Great Cavendish Street, uh, outside number 88, but there was no actual proof that that was his house. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's perhaps best to draw a discreet veil over the authenticity of, of, of the house in question. But that said, e even if it wasn't his house, the, I mean, the, the, they made this point that uh, a, a number of uh, Nigerians, rich Nigerians, have uh, 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 smuggled uh, uh, money out of uh, the, uh, Nigeria and bought huge uh, properties uh, here in the UK. And uh, we, we, we just don't know and uh, they, they knocked on the door and the, 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 there was no response. It was one of these uh, uh, three or four storey uh, buildings and no one appeared at the window or anything like that. So uh, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's hard to say whether they had the right house or not. I, I had no proof that they did and, and they certainly didn't know but th they were making a point. I, I, I think that's what we could say here. And here. Indeed, uh, John. Um, you know, this is not the first time. Uh, before today, we've been having several protests uh, by the Nigerian uh, people there. But uh, what has been the response of the Nigerian Commission, uh, the High Commission where you are, uh, over time on this protest? Response, although I am absolutely certain that there is a constant stream of information leaving the High Commission here uh, and being sent to Abuja. I mean, round the clock, I, I would imagine, uh, it is, uh, is this information flowing to Abuja. Uh, but there's been no official response. No one's come out on the steps. Uh, the High Commissioner hasn't done interviews. Uh, and, and we as a news organization have asked for interviews but we, we, we still haven't got a response yet. So uh, to answer your question, no official response, but uh, certainly uh, behind the... Uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of information is being sent all the time uh, back to Abuja about what's happening uh, here in London. The other point I would like to make, or a couple of points actually, Nihi, I've covered many Many, many, many hundreds probably of, of demonstrations in London over the years and a lot of them have ended in violence and uh, attacks on the police. Of all the demonstrations I've seen, this, although the people, the Nigerian people were angry and they expressed their anger and their fury, they were completely law-abiding. It was quite unbelievable. The, the, the police directed them here and there and, and, and they took direction from the police. There was no damage to property, there, were no, there was no damage to uh, uh, attacks on police. And, and I think that's a, a huge compliment to the uh, Nigerian people who were protesting uh, today and, uh, and the days before. They, they were extremely law-abiding. The other thing that came across to me very strongly uh, is that, uh, you know, I, I point a microphone during uh, live shots uh, to Nigeria, and it was as if these people were wanting to speak out and speak for the very first time. It was like letting a cork out of a bottle. It was, it was quite incredible, as if they'd been waiting months, years to say what they wanted to say. And suddenly they had a platform to say what they wanted. And, and they, they, they said it. It was, it was quite remarkable and uh, it's something I, I, I won't forget. Nihi. All right, uh, on that note, John Cookson, many thanks for the updates. Good to have you.